Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski here at Trailers from Hell. Writer, director, producer Blake Edwards is probably best known for his work with comedy genius Peter Sellers, and also the films he made with his wife Julie Andrews. But he had a long and very busy career with a lot of films, some wild highs, some wild lows, and also a handful of little gems. Here's a good one from 1966. What did you do in the war, Daddy? Screen dares to reveal the best kept secrets of World War II. What did you do in the war, Daddy? Allegedly inspired by Blake Edwards' son asking him the title question, Edwards got writer William Peter Blatty to come up with the screenplay. This is pre-Exorcist fame, when Blatty was a Hollywood gun for hire. He did a lot of work with Edwards, writing A Shot in the Dark, Darling Lily, Gun. The initial idea was for the first act of the movie to be played deadly serious, like a real war film, and then slowly it becomes a farce. But Edwards couldn't help himself, and he starts to laugh right off the bat with the arrival of Dick Sean as the uptight captain. James Coburn is advertised as the star of the film, but Sean probably has the bigger role. You can kind of feel Edwards giving Sean more and more comedic bits. Sean was a funny man. Think of how good he is in Mad Mad World or The Producers. Unfortunately, he doesn't reach those heights here. But this movie does have a very clever plot. It's WW2 and a group of soldiers are given orders to take over an Italian village. This initial invasion is probably my favorite scene in the film. The soldiers are ready for action, but they can't find anyone to fight. The whole town is empty until they discover that everyone has been out enjoying a soccer match. The Italians are in a celebratory mood and they don't want to go to war. They will happily surrender under one condition. The town's annual wine festival is that evening and they want to have one last party. The Americans reluctantly go along with the plan and here's where the Blake Edwards farce really takes over. Coburn has to radio back to headquarters that they are under heavy fire in order to explain what's taking so long. It gets pretty silly and very complicated. The village throws a party and has to pretend for surveillance planes that a battle is being waged at the same time. I think Dick Sean even has to put on a dress at some point. Now, there's some great supporting players here. Harry Morgan, Carol O'Connor, Aldo Ray, and this being a Blake Edwards film, of course, is a bouncy score from the great Henry Mancini. Yes, what did you do in the war? <laughs>